you. Let's welcome DTM Parson. I mean, Jordan Kemper. <laughs> Starts, of course, weeks ahead of time while you're drafting. And even here in the room, if you look at the pre speech protocols, obviously Lazar hit it out of the park. He was dressed professionally, he had his poise. This was about stage presence, and he wanted us to be able to gauge whether or not he had it. engagement with the audience, eye contact. Is he, is he connected with us? Did he? Oh, yeah. Yes, of course he did. He had a well-phrased introduction. He started with that Alexander the Great quote about fear. I'm really afraid to talk more about that, but I thought it was really good. <laughs> he invoked expertise by talking about the Princeton study. He engaged the audience personally by talking to Benjamin directly. And then he talked to Paola. And then he went to our dear President Bonnie, that didn't go quite as expected. <laughs> he had wonderful gestures. He had the hand sleeve gesture. He had the duck, 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 goose gesture. <laughs> A couple of suggestions. Arm your audience. Always arm your audience. Let them know what the goal of the speech is, what the pathway is, and how the, the audience can help you determine whether or not you've met your objectives. You need to do that. Stage presence, be aware. Even here, you wanted to know if you were moving too much. You were swaying back and forth. While you were walking across the room, you had your hand in your pocket. These are little things, but you're a very capable speaker, so you want to work on those little things. I like the fact that you were so engaged that this was a perfect speech to use a prop. I'm going to see my daughter, Mariah. I wasn't planning to bring this here, but this is a picture of me 60-some years ago with my older brother. I'm the little pudgy guy. You've got a prop somewhere, a picture, a gizmo, something that could punctuate one of the points you were making. I'd love to see that. If you needed to, you needed to feed off the comments made by some of the earlier speakers. That, that sales meeting, what was the company? Who are they talking about? That would have been good. Okay, the specific over the general. I love you close with the Joseph Campbell quote. That was powerful. I am no longer afraid. Oh. <laughs>